Um, so this is for week three's learning journey. This is the after Easter work, if you're watching it a li little bit too early. Um, this book is called Where the Forest Meets the Sea. This is a um, learning journey based on the rainforests. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Where the Forest Meets the Sea, story and pictures by Jeannie Barker. It's not got many words in it. Just a... My father knows a place. We can only reach by boat. Not many people go there and you have to know the way through the reef. When we arrive, cockatoos rise from the forest in a squawking cloud. My father says there has been a forest here for over a hundred million years. My father says there used to be crocodiles here and kangaroos that lived in trees. Maybe there still are. A fake crocodile by the mistake. I follow a creek into the rainforest. I pretend it is a hundred million years ago. A fake dinosaur there. On the bank of the creek, the vines and creepers try to hold me back. I push through. Now the forest is easy to walk in. I sit very still and watch and listen. I wonder how long it takes the trees to grow to the top of the forest. I find an ancient tree. It is hollow. Perhaps Aboriginal forest children played here, too. I climb inside the tree. It's dark, but the twisted roots make windows. This is a good place to hide. It is time to go and find my father. I think I hear the sea. I walk towards the sound. My father has made a fire and is cooking the fish he caught. I like fish cooked this way, but then I feel sad because the day has gone so quickly. My father says we'll come, up, come here again someday. But will the forest still be here when we come back? A little bit of the end here, Daintree Rainforest, which we'll look at some pictures from in Australia. The place, the people and the predicament are real. This forest is part of the wilderness between the Daintree River and Bloomfield in North Queensland, Australia. There remain, there remain at the making of this book only 20, 296,000 acres of wet tropical rainforest wilderness that meet the ocean waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Small as it is, this is the largest pristine area of rainforest left in Australia. The artist made two extensive field trips to the Daintree Wilderness to research and collect materials. These relief colleges are constructed from a multitude of materials, including modelling clay, papers, textured materials, preserved natural materials and paints. The colleges are mostly the same size as the reproductions. Just a little bit of extra information there. Okay, and now you've got a task to complete on it. Bye. <laughs>